Hello there, my crafty friends. It's Ashley Pfeiffer, the maker behind Stampin' AF. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada. And for this week's video, I am using the adorable Shark Frenzy Bundle. And there is a reason that I am using this. I'm so sorry about the shadow and the extra light. I'm, uh, you probably know I'm doing a craft room reno, kind of a reorganization. And I've got the light that's above me that's casting shadows and not quite enough light over here yet. So... Bear with me, please. It will get better. Um, it's come a long, long way since I first started. But there is a reason I'm showing you this card, and that is because this month's Creativity Delivered features the Shark Frenzy Bundle. And Tiffany and I have designed four amazing projects for you. You get all of the cardstock. You will get uh, half a pack of the Whale Done, or sorry, Whale of a Time DSP. It doesn't come in this case, but this is the paper. So you will get a half a pack of that. You will get the Artistry Bloom sequins, and you will get video and, excuse me, PDF to make all of those projects. You get a personalized case. It's fantastic. It is $50 per month. It is a monthly subscription and you can cancel it anytime. You'll know what's coming up and whether you want to participate or not. But for this week, I wanted to show you this. This is not part of the kit. This is an extra. I was trying to decide between three cards that I had designed and I decided to share this one with you, my viewers. Now, I love the front of this. I'm absolutely in love with it. The inside, I just did not know what to do for a sentiment because there's no room. So I am switching it up. We're going to change this DSP to some pool party cardstock and do some repeat stamping in the back. So let's get our craft on. So I have gone ahead and I have prepped most of what we need. This is going to look like a jumbled mess. But here is all of the DSP and the cardstock, and I will give you all the measurements. And then I have stamped and die cut my sharks so that all we have to do is do our color stamping and they'll be done. Otherwise we'll be here for days. So this is a top folding card base. So it's four and a quarter by 11 inches scored at five and a half inches. Nothing new there. This piece is three inches by 11 inches, three by 11, and it is scored at two and three quarters, five and a half, and eight and a quarter, and that gives us four even panels. Now we are going to do a mountain fold in the middle and then two valleys. So this is called a W fold card and you will see why in just a second, because there is our W. Okay, and if you do it the wrong way, you'll have an M. <laughs> but this is, this is basically our mechanism. So, I've got some DSP that's going to go on the inside. I don't even know if you noticed this DSP on the inside, but when it wasn't there, there was just way too much Pretty Peacock. Oh, Pretty Peacock for these two pieces. And we've got the Whale of a Time DSP on the back is this. And maybe you want to do that as your background. Totally up to you. I'm going to do the fish. And then I've got this cute one with the little crabs walking for the front. And I just, I thought we can't have all the fun on the inside of the card. Something has to be cute on the outside, right? And it was a struggle initially, but I'm thrilled with the way it has come out. So I'm going to use some liquid glue or stamp and seal to adhere that. And then we've got our four panels of pool party. Now that was DSP in my first card, as you probably noticed, same size. They are two and a half by two and three quarters, and you need four of them. Whatever you're using, whether it be cardstock, DSP, they all need to be the same size. Now, because I am doing some stamping on here, I am not going to adhere them to this yet because I would have to do a whole bunch of masking and I don't want to do that. So let's get these on. I think I'm just going to use some liquid glue because it's right here. And I will be doing a new updated craft room tour when my flooring goes in. I have been doing some reorganizing and got some different furniture. So it will look quite different from the tour that I did. I think it was probably summer last year after I painted my craft room. But this one will be quite different. I have streamlined so there's some room to move. And we redid the flooring on our main floor. So 
This room is next on the list. I cannot wait. And I am standing right now. I don't have a stool because the stool that I want is out of stock. So I've gone from sitting, sitting, sitting to standing, standing, standing. And they do tell you when you're transitioning to a standing desk not to go from one to the other, like one extreme to the other, but I don't have a stool. So I closed my, on my Apple Watch, I closed my standing ring yesterday for the first time in a while. So that was something. Danced while I was watching some YouTube videos, which is not something I do, trust me. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is more exercise than I've done in months. <laughs> How pathetic is that? Okay, so we've got this part done. Super cute already, right? And I should mention, there really is no room to write on this. So if you do want a panel to write your sentiment, your greeting, add a panel here. And I kind of think it would look nice in pool party because I think basic white would be a little too stark. But you do you, my friends. I have gone ahead and I've die cut the little pieces. And again, I don't know if you can tell this on here because it's so busy, but I've got some granny apple green and some pretty peacock seaweed on there. I've got some of our little fishies. And those, just so that you have an idea, this is my DSP sampler. Those I cut with this paper. So the front side is seaweed. It's not like the full thing of seaweed because that's that one, but this one here, just look for some Calypso coral on the back. Okay, so we've got some stamping to do and I always like to stamp on some grid paper, keep my mess isolated and it's a soft surface. This pad's almost done. So if you need, put a silicone craft mat underneath or some kind of platform. So we are going to be using this filler stamp. You can absolutely color, the, color these if you wish, but I am going to use a couple of blues. So I'm using Misty Moonlight. Uh, actually just Misty Moonlight for the blues. And then I will use some Smoky Slate. And if you can see here, this is Misty Moonlight stamped off. This is full strength Misty Moonlight. This is Misty Moonlight and Smoky Slate stamped off, both of them. And then this is just Smoky Slate, but look at the depth in there. It almost looks like I colored it with blends, doesn't it? And you could add a little bit of balmy blue or something in there to give, make that white pop, but I'm just gonna leave it. So with the basic gray, sorry, with the Smoky Slate, I am going to stamp my first one at full strength. And this is probably easier to do before you die cut, but I didn't want you sitting here watching me die cut. They are very easy to line up. It's our two-step stamping. See, didn't even have my head over it and it was easy peasy. Okay, so now I've got Smoky Slate again. I'm going to stamp it off, line it up. I'm sorry if my head gets in the way here. Okay, so there's our Smoky Slate stamped off. What a funny little hair on my stamp. So that is all of the smoky slate that we need. It's funny, whenever I start recording a video, it's like it get all congested. I don't know what it is. Okay, so here is our smoky slate, or sort. I don't know what colors I'm using. Here is our misty moonlight at full strength. Now my head is not where it would normally be when I'm stamping, so if this goes outside the lines, you'll know why. Now I could have just stamped that from there because we've stamped it off, but I like to ink it up fully and then stamp it off again. I've got a weird little thing there now. <laughs> One on the front is Pretty Peacock just so that he blends with everything else on there. Isn't that a gorgeous color for a shark? I kind of wish that we had filler for the white part because I think I would do that pool party, but we don't. Okay, so I'm doing him at full strength. Again, my head is not where it normally would be when I'm crafting because my phone mount is right in the way. Not great, but it kind of gives it some character when it's not perfect. Progress over perfection, my friends. Okay, oh, I still need the Misty Moonlight because we need to stamp our baby shark. Okay, so there's our little baby. 
You look so cute. So for the background, I think because I haven't done this, remember on my first one, there was no sentiment. You can see there's nothing in there. So I haven't done this part yet. I am thinking though, that with my words, daddy, mommy, grandpa, grandma. Oh, yeah, we only need three. So I think we're going to take daddy out of there. Let's have grandma and grandpa and mommy and baby. So I think what I'm going to do is stamp pool party and just repeat stamping. I haven't decided if I'm going to go across. I tend to like to go on an angle. So I will speed through this part and you will see me do all four, but in hyperspeed. Now I'll come in here off of hyperspeed. Two things I want to kind of warn you about is you don't want to go like baby, 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 all the way down in a row. You want to stagger them. And the other thing is you don't want to always just try and ink your stamp from the middle, because if you're anything like me, this is where you always go to. Well, there's more ink around the outsides. So now this is going to be a little bit darker. But try to remember not to always just go to the middle of your ink pad. Go to a couple different spots. And something to keep in mind is that our sharks are going to cover a fair amount of this real estate. So if you have a mistake, hopefully it's in a spot where the shark is going to cover it. But if not, <laughs> it is what it is. Okay, so now we can take our little insert, which is right here. And I am again going to use liquid glue. I like that it gives me a little bit of wiggle room in terms of placement. If I use stamp and seal or something like that, it, it doesn't allow you to move it. Whereas the liquid glue, you get a few seconds to maneuver it if it's not where you want it to be. And you can always lift it. I find that dental floss is my best bet. I, while I was making my samples for Creativity Delivered, I had at least two cards where I'm like, I made, I made three. So two of the three, I had something where I needed to lift it and dental floss is my go-to. You can also use your heat tool to heat it up a little bit, but I had already assembled my cards and they're, spoiler alert, they're all fun folds. So if I heated it up, chances are it was going to mess up something else. So dental floss is my recommendation. And if you're not sure what I'm talking about, just keep a little pack of dental floss. I also have uh, floss threaders and that is to get a bow or ribbon through a small space. But if you're not sure what I'm talking about with dental floss, if I decided that grandpa wasn't right or it was in the wrong spot, all I have to do is put that dental floss under there and wiggle it back and forth. Now that is in the right spot, so I don't want to remove it. But it is a great way to fix a mistake. Now, sometimes it may go beyond the point where it can be fixed, but dental floss is usually a great option. Now, one of the reasons I needed that dental floss was because I got cocky in how I put this down. Now, doesn't that look adorable? <laughs> uh, so what I did was I measured it and I got that down and then I measured it and got that down. But I'm going to show you what I ended up doing in the end, which is a lot easier. So I'm going to add my liquid glue to one of them and I don't want it right at the end. I want it about an inch, three quarters of an inch away from the side. I want to be able to see some of that DSP that I've put down. So we'll hold that there for a few seconds. Tombow does take a few seconds to set. And I did my nails for an underwater theme. I need some cuticle oil, but I didn't want to put oil on and then start crafting. But the cards that I did for Creativity Delivered had a little bit more blue, whereas this is pretty peacock and a pool party, a little more green. Okay, so now we're going to put some glue on that backside and just close the card. So much easier. 
Okay, and then we've got our perfect opening. I love this. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to put our sharks down. Now, the one thing that maybe doesn't fit the way it did on my card initially was there was a lot more color going on back here. Now we've got Pool Party and Pretty Peacock, but I'm using Misty Moonlight and Grays. You know, it is what it is. So I'm not going to pop these up because I feel like there is enough going on in this card. I don't want to add unnecessary dimension. I think it's cute as is, and it may cost extra postage just to mail as is. And if we put dimensionals, I think they're going to kind of interfere with the design. Now, if you want to put your sharks on before you adhere this piece, I get you. Probably was the wiser course of action, but I'm not that smart. Okay, this is our one for the outside. <sighs> Grab our smoky, misty, slate moonlight. <laughs> So this is our daddy shark. And I don't like to put them all going the same direction. I kind of wish that we had one that went the other direction, like a mirror image, and I don't want to get into mirror stamping. So I just kind of move their positioning around to make it look a little bit different. So we're going to have grandpa kind of over here. And there are so many stinking cute accessories in this stamp set. There is like a Burt Reynolds mustache, there's a hat, there's a bow tie, there's a purse, there's eyelashes, lips, necklace, um, spectacles, monocle, like so stinking cute, bubbles. But we are just going to leave these as is because our background says who it is. We've got baby, mommy, daddy, grandpa. Cute, right? And then that covers our inside. We could put shark somewhere, but I think you could say grandpa shark. Okay, so now we're going to go back to the outside. This guy, I'm going to pop up on dimensionals. Okay, so I'm going to put him a little high because we've got all this seaweed and everything, and I don't think he's going to be like way down here being held by the crab. It'd be cute, but so now let's add our little bits of seaweed. And initially when I did this, oh, well, let me show you how I did it. I was just going to explain it, but I might as well do it. So I took my silicone craft mat, put all of my leaves on here, seaweed. Not the fish. The fish I've got a different little trick for. I'm going to take my liquid glue, which has been my adhesive of choice and a sponge dauber that is dedicated to my liquid glue. And I'm just going to spread a bit on the back. You don't need a ton of it. And you might as well, while you've picked it up with the sponge, you might as well put it on your card. So I know this doesn't stand out a lot, but it does bring some dimension and it doesn't overwhelm the front of the card. The shark still stays the main focus, which was my goal. Wanted to bring in a little bit of dimension without taking away from our pretty peacock shark. Okay, and then this one can just go over here. And I feel like the pretty peacock seaweed, sorry, the granny apple green just helps to brighten it up a little. You could use whatever colors you want. Okay, and then all you need to do to clean that is take a baby wipe. I tend to take a baby wipe and then I go to the sink just to get any extra off. But because it's silicone, the glue doesn't stick to it. Okay, so I recommend having a sponge dauber that is dedicated just to glue. And now we will add a couple of our fishies. And with any kind of embellishment, you want to stick to an odd number. So we've got one, two, three, four. I'm going to put one down here. So I believe I have six cut out because the die cuts three. So we'll use, we'll leave one of them. I want this guy to be going a different way. All the rest of them are going to the right. That one's going to the left. So just use your putty end. And pop them on. And then the final touch, 
because it is part of the creativity kit and I, that's what I was designing for, we are going to use some of these artistry bloom sequins and I'm just going to use a few of the, uh, I would say they're Mango Melody. We'll use three. I'm going, I'm using the larger ones, whereas I had one large and two small. Let's do five. Got to run away. We'll bring one down here. And you don't want them to be too predictable in their location, like one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> you want them to highlight, not, see, I feel like that's too much of a zigzag. Let's put this one here. And that is it. What do you think? I would love to know in the comments below which one you prefer. Do you like my original? The fronts are exactly the same, but do you like it with this DSP in the back? Or is it a little too busy? Or do you prefer this one that has the pool party with the, the titles, I guess, stamped in the background? Let me know which you prefer. And if you create this or something, if you're inspired by this, I hope you're inspired by this, but if I have inspired you and you decide to create this, I would love to see it. You can tag me on Facebook or Instagram, Stamped AF. And if this was your first time here, I always wait till the end of the video. I'm not quite sure why. Duh. If this was your first time here, welcome. I hope that you will consider hitting that subscribe button below and you will catch a new video each and every week. Well, for the most part, every week. There are times where things just, life gets in the way. And I hope you understand that. Um, and that's all for this week, my crafty friends. If you need any of the supplies to make this or any other project using the Stampin' Up! product, I would love to be your demonstrator. If you live in Canada and are not yet working with a demonstrator, please connect with me. I would be happy to be your demonstrator. I have monthly gifts with purchase. I have free tutorials, so much stuff. So I hope to see you soon, my crafty friends. Bye.